guys, it's me, Phyllis. Oh, I'm just so happy to be alive. Like every morning I wake up, I just be like, oh Lord, I thank you for waking me up because there was nobody but God that did that. So you always have to just wake up with a thankful heart, you know? And I just want to talk to you about letting go of grudges in 2019. Those grudges are just holding you back from all your blessings that God has in store for you. Like if someone wronged you, quickly, quickly just forgive them. Even if they don't say I'm sorry, just forgive them, forgive them. Forgive them for the wrong that they've done to you be, and just have a loving heart full of love. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying be a fool or anything like that, but just forgive them and just go on with your life don't hold on oh you did this you did that don't be going back and forth with all that just be like god i give it to you yes it hurt yes i don't understand but god i thank you and i forgive them and i love them you know you just have to go on you know don't just wish them well don't you know the bible says pray for them so pray for them don't say oh lord um choke on a chicken bone nothing like that <laughs> just be like God you know just bless them you know you know how my heart feel I'm hurting but God even in my brokenness bless them and then God would just turn around and just bless you because that's what you have to do just pray for your enemies and keep it moving in 2019 because God has so many blessings for you you and you so don't hold on to grudges. Just let it go. Let it go. Is it easy to let go? No and yes. No, it's not easy to let go of grudges when you're holding on to your emotions, your feelings. Oh, they did this and, you know, in a victimized state of mind. And it's easy to let go when you say they're not worth it. They're not gonna steal my peace. They're not gonna steal my joy. And they're definitely not gonna steal my smile. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just, you're not worth it. They're not worth it. Just let it go. And continue to um, just focus on your relationship with God. And, you know, just continue to pray for them and go on with your life. You have to go on with your life. Don't keep being stuck where that person dropped you off at or that person left you. You must pick up the pieces, be like, God, here they are, my brokenness, my hurt, and renew me, restore me. You know, that's what I had to do. And I'm telling you, it was the best thing I ever done was to stop being stuck where that person hurt me or that person lied on me or whatever that person done to me. I just kept being stuck in that same place. I wasn't able to propel forward, you know, because I was so hung up on my emotions and my feelings. And, and I said, God, you got to do something about this. You have to set me free within. That's why I'm able to smile now. <laughs> like a real smell because I'm free within my heart. I'm no longer holding on to grudges. People, you know, disown me, cut me off. Oh, well, God bless you. I'm going on. I'm not going to let you stop me from living. I'm not going to let you stop me from being happy. God has too much in store for you. Like he had too much in store for me, honey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I just really thank God. I just really want you to just really let it go. It's not worth holding on to that hurt. It's not worth it. You have a whole life ahead of you that the enemy is allowing you to just focus on that one thing that hurts you. But allow God to come in and knock it down so you can see the whole world that's out there waiting on you to enjoy, okay? Get out there and live, out there and live for Jesus, pay Jesus first. I mean, I mean, nobody's perfect, but you know, when you start living for God, your life will turn around, it will get better. You'll be, be able to see, you have clarity. You'll be able to think clear. You won't be bombarded with anxiety and depression.